Recently, a significant geological event occurred in the remote interior of British Columbia, Canada, when a massive landslide descended into a major river, forming a natural dam and dramatically altering the landscape. The landslide was enormous in scale, estimated to have deposited around 9.3 million cubic meters of debris into the river valley. The immediate impact of the landslide was the creation of a significant blockage in the river, leading to concerns about the potential for upstream flooding. As the river began to back up behind the natural dam, officials feared that the rising water could eventually overtop the blockage, leading to a catastrophic release of water downstream. This led to a large-scale evacuation in the region, with people being cleared out of areas even miles away from where the landslide occurred. This significant natural disaster not only altered the physical landscape of the region, but also posed immediate and long-term challenges for local communities, ecosystems, and emergency response teams. As the situation continues to evolve, what will happen next? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. On the 31st of July, a major landslide occurred near Farwell Canyon, about 285 kilometers north of Vancouver. This landslide created a much bigger problem, resulting in mandatory evacuations for areas up to 31.3 kilometers or 19.4 miles away. The landslide contained a volume of nearly 10 million cubic meters of rock that collapsed from a nearly quarter square kilometer patch of ground, and it has completely blocked a major regional river, the Chilcotin River. The Chilcotin River is a critical waterway in the region, not only for its ecological significance, but also for the communities and industries that rely on its water. The Chilcotin River, located in a remote and rugged region of central British Columbia, flows through an area characterized by steep, unstable slopes and complex geological formations. The river itself is part of the larger Fraser River Basin, which drains a substantial portion of the province. The landscape around the Chilcotin River is shaped by a combination of volcanic activity, glaciation, and ongoing erosion, resulting in steep valleys and unstable slopes that are susceptible to landslides. Following the incident, water pooled behind the temporary natural earthen dam, forming a more than 3-kilometer-long lake which is more than 20 meters deep. But some unconfirmed reports state that it is now more than 60 meters or 197 feet deep. As of today, the lake behind the dam has grown to 11 kilometers long. As this vast mass of water continues to pool behind the landslide deposit, increasing pressure is being applied to it, which almost certainly will eventually trigger a catastrophic collapse. Such a collapse could cause a major flood and wall of water to burst downstream, possibly affecting certain towns more than 200 kilometers away. As a result, not only is a 65.2 kilometer stretch of the Chilcotin River and nearby hills being completely evacuated, but also the river and riverbanks along an additional 314 kilometer or 195 mile long stretch of the adjacent Fraser River. Thus, a major disaster could soon occur with the temporary lake expanding by nearly 13 million cubic meters a day. So why did this landslide occur in the first place? There are a few possible reasons for this. The first explanation is that a 3-kilometer-long patch of hillside, extending 2 kilometers to the west and 1 kilometer to the east of the landslide, was already quite unstable. The area which collapsed was largely composed of loosely compacted and poorly sorted Triassic Age limestone debris from earlier Pleistocene, or Holocene, landslides. And it goes without saying that landslide deposits are quite unstable and often collapse again. As for the next possible cause, the ground in this landslide was previously largely held in place by the roots of tall evergreen trees. However, in 2017, a major wildfire burned this hillside as part of what is known as the Hansville Fire. Over the next several years, what remained rotted away, removing an important source of stability on the mountainside. The final possible cause is that after 21 days of no rainfall occurring, this very hillside experienced rainfall for 8 out of 10 days between July 22nd and July 31st. 
In total, 2.1 inches or 5.33 centimeters of rain fell in this time span, which loosened the soil by just enough that it caused a major landslide to occur. Geologists believe that the combined effects of previous landslides, wildfires, and heavy rainfall may have triggered this massive landslide. In response to the event, emergency management teams were quickly mobilized to assess the situation. The British Columbia Ministry of Forests, along with local First Nations, worked to monitor water levels and evaluate the stability of the landslide debris. Experts were flown into the area to assess the potential for further landslides. The British Columbia Wildfire Service sent helicopters to help ministry staff create maps of the landslide to assess the damage. Meanwhile, local communities downstream were put on high alert, with more evacuation plans prepared in case of a sudden breach in the natural dam. People living along the Chilkatin and Fraser Rivers for hundreds of kilometers were encouraged to pack and prepare their home for possible flooding by moving equipment and other assets from low-lying areas. Meanwhile, experts explored potential mitigation strategies to reduce the risk of flooding. These included controlled releases of water from the newly formed lake, which would involve gradually lowering the water level to reduce pressure on the dam. However, the remote location and the unstable nature of the debris made this a complex and risky operation. In the end, the decision was made to focus on monitoring and preparedness, with the hope that the natural dam would hold long enough for the situation to stabilize. The ecological impact of this landslide is a significant concern. The Chilkatin River is an essential habitat for various species, including salmon and steelhead trout, which rely on the river for spawning. The blockage and subsequent formation of a lake upstream have the potential to disrupt these critical habitats, with long-term consequences for fish populations and the broader ecosystem. The sediment and debris from the landslide have also introduced a significant amount of material into the river system, which could have further downstream effects on water quality and aquatic life. Additionally, the altered flow of the river may change the dynamics of sediment transport, potentially leading to further erosion and destabilization of riverbanks in the future. Efforts to mitigate the ecological impact are ongoing. Environmental scientists and biologists are monitoring the situation closely, and plans are being developed to restore fish passage if necessary. However, the remote location of the slide and the scale of the event make these efforts particularly challenging. The long-term implications of the landslide are still uncertain and will depend largely on how the situation is managed in the coming months. If the natural dam remains stable, the newly formed lake could become a permanent feature of the landscape with the potential to alter the local hydrology and ecology for years to come. On the other hand, if the dam breaches suddenly, the resulting flood could cause significant downstream damage, affecting communities, infrastructure, and ecosystems. There is also the potential for further landslides in the area, particularly if the initial slide has destabilized adjacent slopes. The catastrophe serves as a stark reminder of the power of natural forces and the challenges of managing and mitigating their impacts. The event has had immediate and potentially long-lasting consequences for the region. As of now, officials are not sure what will happen next, but there is a chance of a truly major disaster occurring, so we should keep a close eye on the situation. This requires ongoing monitoring, scientific assessment, and coordinated efforts to ensure that the affected communities and ecosystems are supported in their recovery. This incident also underscores the importance of preparedness and resilience in the face of natural disasters. As climate change continues to shape the world's landscapes, the need for proactive and adaptive strategies to manage these risks will only become more critical. The Chilcotin River landslide is not just a local event. It is a microcosm of the broader challenges that communities around the world will face in an era of increasing environmental uncertainty.